What is up my fellow guardians once again here into Destiny and yesterday there was a release of Destiny Hotfix of 10 20th 2015 guys and I'm gonna read it out loud so y'all can know what happened into your hunters because there's a lot of changes for the hunters. So one about okay, what about the shadow shot? The nice stalker has been ruined, uh, running wild with the limited power and the sandbox with the fix. We're bringing a new void super ability back to the check along with the to reward for specific activities and other changes to the player experience. The class nice stalker hunter. Telemetry removed from the extra shots from to avoid all ultimate uh, limited sh shadow shots, I guess. That, that's, that, I guess. I've never been a hunter, I guess, but. What I know is um, a lot of people are used to use, I guess, the uh, Night Stalker as ultimate fucking limited shots. Uh, something like that, guys. I heard about it, but I really, really never focused into, into it. But it is a, it is a I guess, temporarily fixed, and it is not will be restored in a fixed state in the upcoming patch. It will just be, I guess, patch I guess it'll just on the next patch it'll come back I guess they'll fix it even better so you can use like a limited ammo guys that kind of sucks for you for hunters but I really do think the bungee is making this I guess community better by fixing you know, the bugs that are happening and everything removed remove the quest uh, I guess requirement from the sag from the sea of Sa saga of war mine Remove the quest requires from the awakening. Weekly nightfall strike increases the base level of nightfall and legendary rewards by 10 attack defense. Increases the chance of legendary reward by 10% from 50% to 60%. And increases the number of the exchange coins or 3 of coins rewards. Nice, they're going to give you 3 coins now. Ghosts have been added to a legendary reward loot table. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Legendary items no longer drop from Nightfalls, Strikes Boss Kills. So I guess they don't drop from Nightfalls, but only from the Strike Boss Kills. And they will they will wait, they will continue to drop their unique legendary items. Removed accumulated ru ruggish ruins from the I guess the legendary Legendary from the Court of Works, yeah. From the loot tables. And the King's Fall, the King's Fall Hard Mode will be Available at 10 a.m. on 10:23, guys. I'm gonna be making a separate video on that, cause for real, recommended light is 3:10. King's Fall Hard Mode has the following changes. King's Fall Hard Mode rewards will drop up to 3:20 light. Holy shit! Or to Corix in Hard Mode will generate a raid item drop each week without requiring more dream shards. Damn. Or just in normal mode will still require Moldrian Shards. Moldrian Shards can drop in a King's Fall hard mode, but only if a character hasn't cleared King's Fall normal for the week. So Crucible, the Crucible Bounty, I guess, yeah, Bounty, increases the base level of the, of the weekly Crucible Bounty. Legendary rewards by 10 attack. Increases the number of the Strange Coins of War rewards and a Ghost have been added to the Legendary Rewards table. That is whole, that is whole, whole lot of shit of information for the King's Raid. And a lot of things is Destiny coming up. And the Destiny Hot Fix for the 10, 20 of children. But, I want to make this video next. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if, and if you have some, a lot of more doubts, go check the Destiny website. They're going to tell you like a lot of hot fixes coming out and everything. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and like the video coming up for any questions guys. And this is a whole hot fix. So yeah guys. See you on the next video. Peace.